Hello for parents! So today is a very hot day and it's just perfect because I will bathe Diamond, my nursing dog. So first things first, I will refill their shampoo. So the dog shampoo that I am using is the Play Pets Lavender Breeze Shampoo and Conditioner. The scent is long lasting and it makes my fur baby's hair smooth. I only use three brands of dog shampoo on my fur babies. First is the Beering, second is Saint Roach, and third is Play Pets. I will just go and get Diamond, and ta-da! Diamond is now here. So the most frequent questions that I receive is that, after how many days should I bathe my nursing dog? So the answer to that question will depend on the condition of the nursing dog. It is usually recommended to bathe them after 2-5 to five days. What do I mean by the condition of the nursing dog? It means that if you think or if you notice that your dog is stressed out, acts lethargic and all, it is suggested not to bathe them during that period and wait for a few days until they are calm and ready. But for me, I usually don't follow that recommendation because I notice that my fur babies don't leave the whelping box not until their puppies reach 5 days old. So I usually bathe them at around 5 days onwards. Your mama dog is tired after giving birth and highly focused on her puppies. If you remove her to bathe her, she could become anxious for them. Plus, newborn puppies chill very easily. They need their mom's care milk and body heat in the first few days also during the time immediately after giving birth your dog and her puppies bond with each other's scent a bath can be disruptive to this process chances are immediately after having pups your dog is more concerned about them than being clean however within a few days most mom dogs will appreciate a bath to get rid of body fluids from whelping if your dog underwent a c-section just like diamond you should bathe them after two weeks wherein their wound should be fully healed so here's how to bathe a dog after she's given birth first is pick a good time wait until your mother dog has finished nursing her puppies so they are likely to go to sleep and be content and empty mammary glands are less likely to expel milk during bathing. Second, handle carefully. She may be anxious about leaving her pops, so have everything ready so bathing doesn't take longer than necessary. You may want to close the bathroom door so she does not try to escape unless this makes her more anxious. Third is wet down. Wet your mama dog down with a handled shower or by pouring water over her. Use a lukewarm water. Fourth, use a gentle, non-toxic dog shampoo and work through your dog's hair, being careful not to press on the memory areas, which may be tender and can result in milk being expressed. Lastly is rinse and dry. Rinse thoroughly so that no residue is left on your dog's hair or skin that could come into contact with nursing puppies and dry thoroughly with a blow dryer before returning your dog to her puppies. A wet mom dog can get her pups wet and cause them to become chilled. I recommend the Saint Roach dog shampoo to be used on nursing dogs and puppies. It is written at the back part of the label that it is made with 100% all natural ingredients. Its premium blend is so gentle on the skin and coat of your dogs that it can be used by puppies, pregnant, nursing, adult, and old-age dogs. Saint Roach is free from harmful chemicals such as parabens, sless, and sulfates that are known to trigger allergic reactions. Strip away the natural oil in dog's coat, decrease the lifespan of dogs, stimulate hair loss, and decrease dog's well-being in general. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video.